welcome to Adele's NBA Rookie Top 10 2023 edition. This time we're going to start at number 10 with Bilal Koulibaly. He is averaging 6.5 points per game, 2.9 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 0.5 steals, 0.9 blocks, 1.4 turnovers per game. As you can see, his percentages are decent, 43.9 from the field and 37.5 from three. His usage rate is super low in Washington. He's also super raw as a rookie. So Kuzma and Poole, they shoot everything they see. So he makes his mark in the passing lanes and cutting off the ball but he does a little bit of everything for this team. I really like Bilal Koulibaly. Coming up next at number nine, we have Keontae George. 7.3 points per game, 2.3 rebounds, 4.6 assists, 37.7 from the field and 30% from three. Keontae George is just all around. His usage rate is going way up in Utah. He was buried on the bench early, but he's making them notice. He's making great decisions from the point guard spot. I really like the arrow pointing up on Keontae George. Coming up in the eighth spot, Jordan Hawkins, the sniper, the sharpshooter. He's had a consistent usage rate with the Pelicans all season long. He really kills it from three. He's spotting up at 36.8% from behind a three point line. Um, he really isn't an explosive athlete. He's not going to give you any left to right crossover burst or anything like that. Just very consistent within the flow of the offense. He'll rebound in his area, but he's not going to go flying outside of his area. Like right here, you see he's trying to pull up those threes in transition. He really needs to raise that percentage for him to really, really make an effective mark on this Pelicans team, because that's his primary role. At number seven, Kaysan Wallace. He's shooting an eye-popping 50 some odd percent from three, 52.5 percent from three, and he's shooting a super high efficient 65% inside the two-point arc. He just needs to keep getting minutes. The problem is in OKC, they have so much young talent, so many wings and guards. It's really hard for him to get consistent minutes, but he's really pushing to make that happen because of how efficient he is, and he's a bulldog on the defensive end. Number six, Jaime Jaquez Jr. He does it all as a rookie. His minutes are just going up and up and up in Miami after a slow start. He just makes the fundamental right plays. His footwork is outstanding. Anytime there's a read to make on offense, he makes it immediate without any hesitation at all. Look at him running high PNRs. It is a thing of beauty. You call him mini Jimmy. You can call him Kobe Bryant, Mamba mentality footwork. But uh, he is 
a high ask high IQ basketball player. Coming in at the five spot, rookie Brandon Miller for the Charlotte Hornets. He's making his mark by scoring the basketball 13 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, and 1.8 assists per game. He really values the basketball, but he's struggling from behind the three-point line at only 26.5%. He's gonna really need to clean that up if he's gonna to wanna to climb the ladder to get to that two spot. But he's playing really well. Um, on a little bit of a down slope at the moment, but we'll see how he bounces back. Number four, Derek Lively, a throwback, old school, lunch pail, dirty work type of player. He gets it done in the nitty gritty for Dallas. Fits perfectly between Kyrie and Luka because he doesn't need the ball. He just does all the dirty work. 70.5% from the field, outstanding. In the three spot, we have Marcus Sasser, the other draft pick for the Detroit Pistons. He's averaging 10.7 points per game, does a little bit of everything on the glass, assists, blo uh, not block shots, but steals, shooting an eye-popping 50.6% from the field and 43.9% from deep. Again, this rookie class is shaping up to be an epic all-time class. Coming in at the two spot, his teammate, Osar Thompson. He does it all. 11.4 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, 3.7 assists, 
1.3 steals, 1.9 blocks. Oh my goodness, if he shot a higher percentage from three, he'd be the clear rookie of the year. But he has some things to round out and polish in his game, especially that outside shot. But he takes the task of guarding the other team's best player every single game, and his production is off the charts. And number one, he needs no introduction, Wemby, Victor Wembenyama, the number one pick in the draft for the San Antonio Spurs, is averaging 20 or 19.9 points per game, 8.6 rebounds per game, two assists, 1.1 steal, 2.6 blocks, shooting 46% from the field and 31.3% from three. He's just getting better every game. He hit a little bit of a lull, but he does his best work in the fourth quarter. He locks in, he's super competitive. Oh my goodness, there's not enough superlatives you can say about the game of Victor Wembanyama. Wait till he gets a full off season of NBA strength and conditioning it's going to be an unreal jump. Enjoy the rest of these clips of Victor Wimbenyam. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below of my rookie top 10 list. Should there be somebody else on there? Should somebody be moved up? Should somebody be moved down? Uh, Chet Holmgren did not make the list because if you look at when he was drafted, to me as a second year player, no way you can win rookie of the year like that. I hate the fact the NBA does that. The NFL doesn't do that. The NHL doesn't do that. Such a stupid thing. Second year players should not be in the running for rookie of the year. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Take care, stay safe, see you next time.